Aries, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. All right, so the cards came flying out of the deck. Let's see what's going to happen with you and this person. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and click that notification bell. So when I upload readings, you guys will be notified. Messages do you have for Aries? What's going to happen next with Aries and their person? So your cards are flying out of the deck, Aries, like they were doing your pre-shuffle. All right, let's get one more. All right, I see a couple of major arcanas here. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Death card, Scorpio energy. We also have the Star card, Aquarius energy. And you came right out of the deck. Okay. Um, Aries, I feel like you keep thinking about the situation. You're going over and over this um, in your head. Some of you feel like with the star card reverse and the death card that there's no coming back from something here. But you're not quite sure with the hermit card. It's like you need some time alone to think about whatever this is because it's been too much hurt and too much pain. With the Ten of Swords, I feel like this person continues to betray you and stab you in the back. And you may feel like this is something that you can't forgive. So whoever this is that caused this hurt and sadness and this pain, or this was something very devastating that happened to you. And you may be feeling like, okay, even if you're not talking to this person right now, it's like if they come back and try to apologize... It may not fly with you. You may be like, it's over. I'm done. I need to make these changes. And this could be something you've been thinking about for quite some time where you've like, I've known that, you know, I should have changed this situation up a long time ago. But maybe you weren't ready, Aries. You know, you, you had a lot of contemplating. You know, you isolated yourself. I feel like some of you isolated yourself a couple of times from this person, hoping that isolating yourself from them and withdrawn and pulling away and just, you know, not being around them, not talking to them would change things. And now you may be feeling like it didn't happen. So maybe you're ready to just let this go. So we're going to see. What messages do you have for Aries? All right. So some of you are dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Wow, your cards are flying out of the deck so much. We have the Empress here. Yeah, some of you are like, this. I can't do anything with this anymore. This is not going to work. You feel like you're on... Um, you're in Empress status right now. You're creating something for yourself and you may feel like this person isn't. The Eight of Pentacles is reversed here. Or you feel like this person is never going to find a good job or never going to find a job, period. Maybe you feel like this person doesn't work and they just sit home and do nothing. Or, you know, they get a job and then they leave it. Yeah, some of you feel like you can't deal with this person anymore. Maybe this is something about this person not being on your level. Because we do have the Empress. Eight of Pentacles reversed with the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. The Knight of Wands. What messages do you have for Aries? Mm, this person doesn't like that you're holding back from them. This could be a Sagittarius for some of you, or just in general, this person is ready to make moves towards you. Or they have made a move towards you, but you're still being stubborn and not wanting to talk to them. I feel like the energy that you're giving, whoever this is, um, it's not what they want. And they're wondering if it's truly over this time around. Like, can you guys come back from whatever you're going through? I feel like they're going to try, though, because the Knight of Wands is in the upright. You have the Sun card here, Leo energy. <laughs> you know what I'm seeing here? I feel like how... How this situation is working out for you, Aries, is that you're like, if I keep being stubborn and I keep pulling away from this person, I'm getting their attention. But you you may be asking yourself, like, how long 
is that going to last or how long do I have to stay in this energy for things to work out? Because I feel like with the sun and the knight of wands, someone is coming towards you trying to change your mind about how you feel about them. And so this person could be giving you a lot of attention now while you're keeping them waiting this time around. But you're like, okay, how long do I have to sit in this energy? How long do I have to play these games? And even if it's not a game that you're playing and that's how you're truly feeling, I feel like you're like, I don't want to continue to sit in this energy of holding back and being cold and being distant. I want you to change for good so we can move forward. But some of you may be um, afraid to trust it because the nine of wands is about um, is about being reluctant because you've been hurt in the past by whoever this is. So you're like, well, I don't know if I can trust this person. I don't want to let my guard down and I let my guard down and then they start acting crazy or weird again, like pulling away from you, blocking you, ghosting you. Yeah, we have the knight of pentacles reversed. Some of you are going to take your time coming out of this energy. This energy of you being cold and not really having much to say. This person wants you to come out of this energy now, but I don't see you doing it, Aries. You're like, nope, I'd rather wait it out and see how they're going to react. I feel like you're looking for consistency. So you're like, okay, I'm going to see if this person coming towards me is going to be consistent with treating me good. All right. So we have the two of pentacles, the lovers, the high priestess. Yeah, that's exactly what you're waiting for. You're like, I don't know if I should take this person back. Yeah, I still love them, but so what? We have Pisces energy, Gemini energy, or this could be a twin flame. This is someone that you really love and you care about, but you're trusting your intuition this time. Good for you, Aries. You're like, nah, you're not going to play with me. You're not going to continue to play with me. All right, so let's see. So we have the Wheel of Fortune that flew right out of the deck. So we do have changes in communication. So for those of you who are waiting for your person to reach out to you, um, so with the Justice card reversed here, I feel like someone is finally realizing that They've been treating you wrong. Could be an air. I'm sorry, not an air sign. Could be a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this is someone who's really emotional about you right now, and they know that you're walking away from this. They know that because they haven't been treating you fair, you're wanting to leave. But I see change with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. I see a turning point to this. So for those of you who've been waiting to talk to them or hear from them or waiting to see if things get better, it is coming in. But the thing about this is I feel like you're more worried about the consistency of the situation, not if this person will change because you've seen them change before, but you're like, how long is that change going to last? And I feel like that's what has you worried whether you should drop your guard or whether you should continue to stand your ground here. I feel like this is what's bothering you. This is what's making you um, wait it out. And maybe, you know, be in your head a lot with the Hermit card. You're afraid of getting hurt or going through this stuff again with this person. Because you're like, um, I don't know if I can trust in what they have to say. I feel like someone has already texted you and they may have said a lot. Or you're going to receive communication from someone out of the blue that comes in really fast. And you're like, I don't know if I should believe them or not. Okay, what was that? They flipped in a circle like that. The King of Wands. Yep. There's a fire sign that's coming towards you with this Page of Cups energy. But I feel like with the Hierophant being here and the Strength card reverse, you're going to tell this person, like, I'm tired of all of this disappointment, whether this is about a third-party situation or just in general, a lot of hurt, pain, and sadness where this person plays a lot of games. One minute they want to be with you, the next minute they're ghosting you or... You know, you're not hearing from them. This could be a Leo for some of you. You want something more traditional with whoever this is. And I feel like you're either going to let this person know again for the last time or you've already let them know. And you're like, I'm waiting for that because if I don't get that, yeah, I'm walking away 
from from this this situation or either you've walked away already and this is someone who's going to try to get you back so those are the messages that i have for your reading aries thank you for watching my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye